think we've got a nice bream. Bang on the mark where we were last year. Hello and welcome back to the channel for another real review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Pen Fathom Low Profile. This is the 200 size and it is a lefty because that's the way I am. Um, but the right is exactly the same. And as always with any real rod or tackle review that you see on the channel, it's after a fair bit of use and it's fair and honest. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. Either way, you are going to know about it. So let's get into it. Okay, starting with price, it's quite a pricey reel this one. It's about 260 quid, as always, with anything online or in the shops. You can probably get yourself a deal somewhere, but it is a more pricier reel. And I would say it's probably a reel for someone who's got a bit of experience. Um, the reason for that is it's a lot smaller. It's very compact and it does the job, and I'll come on to the, the features in a minute. But it's not designed for use with your average sort of big clunky boat fishing rods. This reel I bought for slow jigging with a custom built rod. Obviously you've got plenty of rods out there that this will go on. But for me, this has been designed and bought to scale down my gear to try and get as much sport out of my fishing as possible. Now I use it for slow jigging, for pollock and bass, but I have also done the whole boom and sidewinder setup with it when the tide sizes are right. And I also love this for black bream fishing. It's absolutely brilliant for that smaller stuff where you want the sensitivity with the light rod, the lighter lines, and it's absolutely lovely for that as well. So it's about 260 odd quid, like I said. Now, it's got a twin handle. You can swap this out if you wanted a power handle sort of thing, but I haven't felt the need to do that, and I don't think you need to, unless that's how you are inclined. Now, this is a star drag, so it's got the, um, the drag tensioner there, one way loosens, one way tightens, and then obviously you've got your reel mount at the bottom there, like that. Um, now this is a 34 inches per turn. Now I did a review of the uh, Pen Fathom lever drag the other time or last time out. And just for comparison, that was 19 inches per turn. So even though it's small, it is mighty and you get a real, real crank with it. And it's really good when you're playing a big fish to have that on your hands. It's really, really good. You've got your spool tensioner just down here. So the little dial there, that controls how fast the uh, line spool, free spools, and then you've got a little line thread. This is a, um, a level wind, as it were. So as you're reeling in, that will put the line on nice and straight for you. Plenty of capacity there. I fished 200 and 220 foot of water quite easily, loads of capacity. And as with any reel, I've got a bit of mono back in, 30 pound braid, and then I've got a leader on there as well, just so it can have a bit of chafe, chafe ability as it was. Now, Unlike other reels, the, this is a bait casting reel, so uh, I don't know if this is an American design or not, I'm not sure, but uh, engage the uh, free spool and disengage it. Instead of having like a, uh, a lever that you pull back and forth, you've got a switch here at the back of it. So you push that in, the spool is then free spooling, and I won't go crazy because I've got line on here. And then to re-engage it, you just crank the handle, and then that puts it back into gear. Not much else to say about it other than that, it is really, really good. I mean, it takes up no space in your box either or on the boat. Um, it's just, this has really changed my fishing. A bit like the lever drag uh, for the Pen Fathom did with my fishing in terms of how easy it is to change your drag and stuff like this. For lighter fishing and slow jigging, combined with the right sort of rod, this is an absolute perfect match. Now, I know the rod plays a big part in your fishing, in what it can handle and can't handle. But for big pollock and bass, this thing here is absolutely a, it's just a winner. It really, really is good. So it is on the price here end though, like I said. So, you know, perhaps if you're thinking about it, um, have a look at someone else's. Uh, a lot of the top top anglers use this sort of reel now on their smaller rods. Uh, so if that's you, it is well worth getting one because it is a bit of a game changer for your slow jigging and your lighter fishing. Uh, overall though, for what it is, Again, it needs to be in your box if you can afford it. It really, really is good. Obviously, there's a lot of cheaper versions out there, and I haven't tried those, and I'm not going to because this does the job. But if you're thinking about it, the Pen Fathom Low Profile, bait fishing, light bait fishing, lure fishing, uh, inside you can even flip baits about on the lakes and stuff like that as well for your pike, perhaps. Um, I've seen people use this for the pikes on the rivers and the lakes. Absolutely won't go wrong. If you've got any questions, please do just pop them in the comments for me, or if I've missed something, or... Perhaps you want something uh, uh, answering. As always, I'll try my best to do so. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again soon.
That's in a big bream. Look at that for a double shot. Ellie's a big bream underneath it. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at Whoa. this. Look at this for a double shot. Look at that, that for a double shot. Bream. Get in. <laughs> 